In this video, we will demonstrate part D of the chemical reactions lab. You will need to add 80 milliliters of distilled water to your solution from part C. Then weigh out some zinc and add it directly to this beaker. Use your stir rod to stir vigorously. This will release H2 gas in the form of bubbles. You should record the appearance of these bubbles in your data sheet. You will notice that as we stir vigorously, some of the blue color will begin to disappear as we form copper precipitate in the bottom of the beaker. After stirring for several minutes, you will notice quite a large amount of copper precipitate. We will then decant the almost colorless solution into the specially designated waste container. Be careful not to get any copper into this container, just the filtrate should go in here. Once you've decanted, add 10 milliliters of acetone to your precipitate and swirl gently. This will remove any excess water from your copper precipitate. Then decant the acetone wash into the acetone waste bottle. Again, be careful that you don't get any precipitate into this bottle. And repeat this step at least once, according to your instructor's guidelines. Now take your beaker over to the hot plate and use your stir rod to agitate the solid. This will help remove any moisture or excess acetone from the solid. Continue to agitate until your copper precipitate becomes a fine powder. This may take several minutes. When you notice that there are no longer any clumps in your beaker and the powder is fine, you can remove the beaker from the hot plate. Now go to the balance room and use some whey paper to weigh the copper solid that you formed in this reaction. You may need to tap the beaker several times to get all of the solid out. Once you've gotten all the solid, record the mass in your data sheet and then you can put the copper solid in the designated waste container and the filter paper in the trash.